everyone and welcome back to the Sedona International Film Festival for our silver anniversary. I'm Carol Kahn and we're coming to you live from the Sedona Rouge Hotel who's one of our sponsors here as well as Black Magic Design and Digitech so we want to thank our sponsors for participating and I have been looking forward to this interview all afternoon. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. So I want to introduce Kurt Walters and Miss Miranda. Thank Hello. you for being with us. And they're certainly not strangers here to Sedona, nor to me. Um, and just for like a little brief introduction, I actually interviewed Kurt recently for yeah. uh, Sedona Monthly Magazine, and um, it's coming out in April, by the way. Thank but um, it was such a wonderful time that I got to spend, not only from the story standpoint, but um, from your authenticity and honesty um, and truth that you portrayed, that it was by far one of the best interviews that I've ever done in my career. So. Um, Thank I you. Thank I you had a good that. interviewer. It was good. <laughs> you asked great questions. Well, thank you. And I was so excited to find out that your daughter has put together this particular film on you and uh, about you. And uh, so, Miranda, tell us a little bit about it. Well, growing up, I tried to always explain to my friends that my dad was the Elvis Presley of the Western art world. And so when I grew up, I decided that I was going to document all of it because he's got a very large selection of artwork because he picked up a paintbrush at 13 and has never put it down. So he's never done anything else. I grew up under an easel and on the south rim of the Grand Canyon in a playpen. It's kind of fun. So yeah, it was time to put it all on camera and explain to everybody exactly what he does and how he does it and why he does it so well. Yeah, it's a very poignant story. And um, I think I th I, the <clears throat> this 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 short documentary is no, so it's not a how to paint no. kind of film. It's uh, it's about the emotions behind the paintings that I've created and the the struggles that I've gone through to create those paintings. Uh, not that my struggles have been great, but they have they have been my struggles. And and so Miranda brought it out of me. She let she. She made me voice my, my thoughts and my feelings, and she recorded them and put this amazing film together, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of her for doing that. Um, it's stuff that I never thought I would talk about in public, but, you know, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Telling all of my secrets. So. <laughs> well, not all of them, but <laughs> well, that's for the feature length. Not all of them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> feature length. I know, but that's plan. where the truth and the authenticity came in, you know. <laughs> it's, it's out of place in your life that you are able to talk about things that happen in history, you know. And the film starts off when you're, when you're a child, because I remember one of the questions yeah. I particularly asked you in, in our interview was, everything that I've read about you, your life started at the age of 19, but I wanted to know what happens before that. And this particular film showcases all of that. And and do you know do you know that it was that question that very question that kind of started this whole documentary thing? So thanks. Oh. <laughs> no, it's really true. It's really true. Wow. Uh, when you asked me that question, I thought, well, that's that's really quite honest. Then that I never talk about it because it was stuff I shoved to the side and didn't want to talk about it. So. Okay, now I need the tissues. <laughs> no, you don't. No, it's just you know, I, it's just amazing that the conversation that we had and that it's in the film and, um, you know, I and then I saw your because you've talked about your mother and I got to see your your mother and your grandmother in the film. Oh, she's so sweet. Yeah, grandma's awesome. <laughs> yeah, she grandma's is. awesome. And pictures of you as a child, so that was um, that was just fun to see, knowing you know, knowing your story and knowing about it. Um, what was one of the biggest things, Miranda, that maybe surprised you, knowing that you grew up with your father? But was there anything in doing the film that surprised in, you? In doing this, I realized how very much I am just like my father. Yes. So yeah, there's a there's a Walter's work ethic that is generational, and I knew nothing about it until I sat down and talked to Grandma about it. So that was a, that it was good insight for myself as to why I am the way I am. 
So, so, <laughs> so what I did is the, the I didn't have the courage to do it myself. So I, I, I wrote down all the questions that I ever wanted to ask my mother and had Miranda ask her. So <laughs> it was kind of, it was very cathartic in a way. But I learned a lot about my mother that I didn't actually know. Uh, but for some reason she felt that she could tell Randy and the world now what the, the Miranda, the way that, that she feels. And it was very, um, very awake, awakening for me actually. What, what transpired out of that? What came out of that that surprised you? Because I do know a little bit about your background and everything. Well, I, I was a very dyslexic, I, was, I am dyslexic, and, the ch and being a child in the, in the 50s was, they, they considered children stupid in, that, in those, that day and age, and so I struggled with school very, it was very difficult. Um, I think my parents, what I learned is that my parents went through a lot of they did a lot of things to allow me to to grow up healthy, and and of course their way of, of creating that was not what I <laughs> at the time I thought was the right thing to do. But you know, so so the film deals a little bit with that. They they moved to the country, so I go to a small country school. They they, they he, my father thought I was very I was a very effeminate young man, and so he thought that being on the farm would help me, and actually it did. Uh, so there were a lot of lessons learned from being there. Um, talking about your work too, Kurt, um, you are a prolific painter of the Grand Canyon. Yeah, I love Grand Canyon. Yeah. <laughs> and um, beautiful work, Thank beautiful you. work Thank of the you. Grand Canyon. Um, where do you show your work? Well, I show my work in, in Nidra Matucci Galleries in Santa Fe and Trillside Galleries in Scottsdale. And then I have, uh, then I also show my work at a series of museum shows uh, at the Autry Museum in LA, uh, the Pretty West Show at the National Cowboy Museum in Oklahoma City, uh, Indianapolis. Idle uh, Jork. Idle yeah. Jork. Uh, there's, uh, yeah, shows come along, and I, I don't know, I stay busy all year. Right. I'm, I'm very busy. But you've won major awards. Yeah. I've that won. you don't talk about. <laughs> He's won a lot. Yes, a lot yes. of awards. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, yeah. come on. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And he's, he's won a lot. That's what I tell everybody. He was the Elvis Presley, the Western art world. Yes. I was Amazing. very proud of him. I am very proud of him. Thank you. So, um, uh, I, I think the, the, there have been some major ones. The, the biggest, perhaps the biggest one is the Pretty West Purchase Award, which is a very coveted award at the National Cowboy Museum. And they, they, they purchase a, one of your paintings to be in the permanent collection. And it's an amazing art collection that they have there. It's one of the top collections in the United big. States. And so, so I'm really honored to have one of my paintings in that collection. Um, I have work at the Autry, big painting at the Autry Museum. Uh, I work in the Gilchrist Museum in Tulsa. Um, several museums. Uh, uh, there's a large collection of my work at the James uh, Wildlife, Wild Western and Wildlife Museum in Pittsburgh, Florida, you know, and, and so, you know, Petersburg, excuse Petersburg. me. Petersburg. Petersburg. Um, and so, uh, you know, I mean, they're around. They're, they've gone to some great collections across the country and they're throughout the world. <laughs> they're around. They're, they're around. around. <laughs> Just they're like so that, around. they're around. <laughs> well, it's wonderful. Um, so, Miranda, um, what do you feel like that there this is just the beginning is oh. there more to this oh yeah no we have other interviews scheduled and we're gonna hop on a plane and go film some stuff and then i'm gonna get a lot of coffee and go to work so i'm kind of surprised a little bit because we did the interview probably about a month ago yeah so right it was about a month mm -hmm. so right after that you started doing this film like 12 <laughs> minutes after you <laughs> left his house well that was 10 30 at night so uh, no we work very late at night 12 minutes after you left he called next day he it showed up with a hard drive and i went to work uh, but 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 we've been working towards the documentary yeah it, it has been a work in a progress for it a very long time it has been a work in progress we didn't just throw it together yeah no it's <laughs> in 10 days it was a little longer than that it, it, uh, <laughs> I was uh, joking. <laughs> well, of course, of course. No, and how is your film being received? Um, so far, very, very well. I'm actually quite surprised. Everyone's like, wow, that's way better than wow. So it, it, it is amazingly awesome. And, when, and, and so, of course, I saw it on the, 
you know, these computer screens and Miranda's saying, well, we have to do this, this, and this, and this, and all this stuff. And then, then, they, then it goes up on that big screen, and, and I, all these filmmakers know that feeling. I mean, it's, I was blown away because she was so good, and I looked awesome up there. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was like, you know, I mean, it was really, and it really touched me a lot to see that, to see it. Well, I can't wait to see the whole entire film. I've seen bits and pieces of it, so I can't wait to see all Absolutely. of it. And I'm definitely going to bring my tissues just in case. Yes, <laughs> please do. Please do. But, and how can people find out about the film? Um, well, technically, there's nothing about it on the website yet, but eventually it will be on KurtWalters.com and um, on it's the fan it's called, page. Sorry, it's called Painting the yes, Air. Yes, Painting the Air. Which, mm -hmm. which refers to... My explanation of how I see the world is by painting the, the quality of the air that surrounds my subjects, and I've always kind of painted that way. It's a very impressionist thing to do, and so that's that's the reason it's called that. But well, thank you, yeah. thank you both for being here. You're welcome, Kurt. Thank you so much for you're, your you're story. Most welcome. <laughs> and most so welcome. I'm just so excited. I can't wait um, to to see the premiere actually of it. Well, you can catch it tomorrow at one o'clock. Yes. Okay. Right. Thursday. Thursday. Tomorrow. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both so much for being You're here. Very it's welcome. been such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And we will be back with more from the Sedona International Film Festival later today. Thanks.